that I told you when yeah. I win the <laughs> Sorry, scratch, -offs. scratch offs. I do it love those too. It was only too. $20 and I was right. so psyched. I know, I get excited too. The two of us doing that together is probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but we could go in on a Mega Millions ticket yes, together. We what do you can. think? <laughs> I would love that. It's a gas station right across the street after work, <laughs> all right? Well, let's talk about our weather. We have got heat, humidity, and yes, thunderstorms, unfortunately, across our area. Each and every day, it looks like this week, there is a view over North Carolina AT State University. You can see the clouds roll through the heavy downpours too boy we did get some pretty intense rain in areas now not everybody got rain today and i'm still getting messages on facebook and twitter they're saying wait a minute we haven't had any rain in tyro we haven't had any rain in eden well we're going to get some rain chances to go up as we head through this week we've got temperatures right now in the low to mid 70s problem is the dew points are also in the 70s so we are pretty much saturated it feels like the beach out there the exception of no sand and no waves and no fun, right? We've got heat and humidity. That will continue, but the heat is not going to be quite as hot. We will have temperatures in the upper 80s, close to 90, as opposed to mid 90s this week. We do have a chance of thunderstorms every day, it looks like, and that comes with the threat for flooding as well as damaging winds. Scattered storms likely Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe slightly less coverage on Thursday, but then we're right back at it in time for the weekend. Rainfall for the month at PTI Airport is over six and a quarter inches. It's the 12th wettest July on record so far, and it is the wettest July in 38 years. Now we're gonna add to that today's rainfall, which will bring us to 6.62 inches of rain. We're definitely helping with the drought situation that's been across the Carolinas. We still have an abnormally dry zone from Lexington Lexington all the way up to Yanceyville did get some rains in the northern triad today as well as the foothills and you can see some of those totals that were close to two inches. Sorry, I clicked through that so, so fast. We saw some spots that were an inch, inch and a half over parts of Wilkes, Surrey and Patrick County. Even around Guilford County had at least a few spots that saw more than a half of an inch. And with those storms, we did get some wind damage, some reports of trees down, one that was on top of a carport at a house on Rockford Road, and then sliding over to Burlington and Swepsonville had some trees down on some power lines too. So we're looking for gusty winds with the storms tomorrow. Quiet tonight night, but there will be a little bit of rain here as you can see moving overhead. So you've got some light to moderate showers. Guilford, Alamance County also down 40 and down toward Lexington. A little bit of light rain too. So maybe Tyro, you'll get a little rain this evening. Notice that you've got a front just to the west. That's going to get in here or at least get close enough tomorrow to lead us to some scattered showers and storms you have a better opportunity of getting some wet weather. Unfortunately, there's also with that a threat for severe thunderstorms. That threat level is one out of five, so it's still low and damaging winds look to be the most likely thing that we would get. And we'll look for this time frame to be after lunchtime. Here's lunchtime. Notice the afternoon storms and then they start to push toward the triad around the dinner hour and then they should be quickly getting out of the area. So if we look at our forecast. You're going to see temperatures in the upper 80s tomorrow afternoon, scattered storms in the Piedmont. We're also looking for a stormy weather in the foothills with a high of 83 and we'll have our temperatures in the 70s tomorrow with the mountains with scattered showers and storms as well. Let's have a look at our seven day forecast. The temps do come down a little bit, especially as we approach the weekend. That's only because the storms become a little more numerous and may actually take place off and on throughout the day.